Welcome, dear students, to week five. In this week, we will start talking about the process of cellular respiration. Now, as we talked about last week about photosynthesis and why the plants need to do photosynthesis to produce their own food as a sugar called glucose with a byproduct, which is oxygen. Now, this process happened in the chlorophyll inside the chloroplasts inside the plants. Why? We uh, need to know this process. We need to know this procedure because we eat plants that is uh, considered as an autotrophs, which is mean that they are responsible for producing their own food. And we, as a heterotrophs, we are consumers that need plants to help us to get our food. Also, another more important uh, byproduct in the process of photosynthesis, which is what? Which is the oxygen as a byproduct. Uh, plants help the atmosphere by maintaining the percentage of the oxygen inside the uh, inside the atmos atmosphere as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Now, in this uh, in this week, we will talk about the reverse process of the photosynthesis, which is the cellular respiration. What are our uh, learning objective for this lesson? We need to know uh, to identify what happened during glycolysis and what happened during Krebs cycle. Now, these two main process happened inside uh, inside the plants also, but as a reverse process to photosynthesis, these are together called uh, the cellular respiration. And we need to uh, to understand the electron transport chain and why it's used as a high energy electron process to uh, have it from uh, from glycolysis as a process and grip cycle from the other process. After that, we will uh, know how uh, we we will calculate how much ATP will uh, will we will have as an end re end uh, results for a cellular respiration generation. First of all, we need to understand the word glycolysis. Glycolysis means one molecule of glucose is, is converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid. Why? What is pyruvic acid? Pyruvic acid is a mediator, which means that it's um, a product that happened inside a two process. It's not the beginning or uh, not a producers and not the end product. It's something that got stuck in the middle, which is called pyruvic acid. As you can see, we start by converting glucose uh, by the process of glycolysis, which is needed energy to break down the glucose. We'll end up by having Krebs cycle. Then we will go to the electron transport chain to release that energy, as you can see. Now, glycolysis, uh, when we talk about the glycolysis, then we are talking about ATP and NADH production. ATP and NADH are produced during the process of glycolysis, as you can see in this two process. This is how uh, glucose converted into two pyruvic acids that will go through the Krebs cycle to the end product of having uh, using the uh, electron transport chain. Krebs cycle. Pyruvic, uh, pyruvic acid is broken down into carbon dioxide. This is a series of uh, uh, steps that will convert in an energy extracting reaction, as you can see in this photo. Krebs, in, in Krebs cycle, pyruvic acid uh, from glycolysis is used to make NADH, ATP, FADH2, and uh, carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Pyruvic acid passes through the two membranes of the mitochondria and from that it will go to the matrix, as you can see. Krebs cycle, this is the citric acid production, mean acetyl-CoA added the two carbon acyl group and the two four carbon molecules that already presented uh, present to produce a six carbon molecules called citric acid. After that, there will be an energy extraction. Citric acid is broken down into four carbon molecules. More carbon dioxide is released, and electrons are transferred to energy carrier. For each cycle, a molecule of ADP is converted into an ATP. A five place, uh, at five places in the cycle, electron carries acceptor 
accept a pair of a high energy electrons NAD plus and FAD uh, are converted into NADH and in FADH2 as you can see the product from the Krebs cycle and the glycolysis feed into the last step of cellular respiration electron transport uses the high energy electrons from glycolysis and the Krebs cycle to synthesize ATP from ADP which is ADP uh, adenine diphosphate in to synthesize adenine triphosphate Electron transport chain is composed of a series of electron carriers located in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. The cell uses the process known as chemos uh, chemos chemosis to produce ATP. Thank you. This is it.